I'm Xanderwood. I make indie games and tutorials on game development. I also play your indie games every week on my channel. Make sure you subscribe and click that bell icon so you never miss a video. Well guys, round one is officially in the books. 188 devs participated in the competition. So I joined the Game Dev Knockout. Zandwood's Game Dev Knockout. The Game Dev Knockout. GDKO. <laughs> I thought it was called GTKO. And 99 of you managed to get something submitted. Great job if you're one of the 99. Only a certain number of participants are allowed to go through the next round. It is a knockout competition. And to everyone else, there's always next time. In fact, you can enter Xander Jam 6, which starts on the 28th of January, and earn yourself a place on the Xander Jam Wall of Fame. I know, I know, it's not quite a t-shirt, but it is what it is. Now, before we take a look at some of the characters you guys have submitted, let's have a moment of silence for the 89 devs that fell at the first hurdle. Okay, now that's out of the way, let's take a look at some of the entries. And for this first round, we had to make a character with a unique, special ability. Not your average ability like running, or jumping, or even crouching, but turning into a bat. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Evan Does Stuff made a character that turns into a floaty eyeball, which seemed pretty unique, but then I discovered you could move through walls if you were the eye. And I was like, no way! The Kebab Coder made two characters, and you can switch between them using the spacebar. The red one supposedly kills enemies to protect the green one, but they weren't added to the game just yet. All kneel for your royal highness, the king. So here we are with the king, but we're trapped inside a dark gloomy dungeon of his own castle. All he's got is a boomerang, and it's made from his fancy gold sword. It got bent out of shape. Legends Games made a puzzle game about making friends. Yanni Boy made a game that may include some basic geometric mathematics. Consume the shapes by collecting shapes and then adding some of their internal angles to your own shape. Otaku Lady 89 made an RPG style game with a main character that can deal a special card in combat. Let's Talk Game Design made a character inspired by Ant-Man. You have the ability to change your size using the Q and E buttons. The smaller you are, the faster you are, but being bigger makes you stronger and more powerful. Ian the Bee made a super squishy character with some really neat abilities. Use your rings to attack and grapple to successfully make your way across the level. Power made a character that can lick a wolf. But wait, there's more. Using your unique ability can turn the wolf into a fly, which you can eat. Mamil made a monster called Ollie, or Oily. Oily is a monster made of oil. He can leave oil on the floor and set it on fire with a deadly Molotov. Use your ghost to possess a human. Is the concept behind Parabellum Games' entry. Unfortunately, unpossessing them can get a little messy. Fringe Games made a game about a ghost too, but in this one you can use a ghostly arm to grab and manipulate your environment. Play God by DevNugget gives you the ability to create planets. Deathworm by GUI lets you control a worm that can submerge itself under the sand, just waiting to pounce and eat an unsuspected victim. If you like ninjas, then you need to check out Ninjas by The Comfy. Dash or Ninja Star your way through a one screen arcade style level. Just don't forget to shout as you send your enemies to meet their maker. Are you looking to smack some dummies around with a giant sword? Look no further. The gamer has made a character that does just that. Although it comes with a dice that may or may not help you. Ghost Bitch Studios made a slime that can make more slimes. But those new slimes are more useful than the original slime. Kind of like when you have kids, they grow up and are more successful than you are. The idea came to me and I thought instantly, what if the slime had the ability to spawn other slimes? Whoever spelt it, dealt it. And Richard over at Frozenwell is certainly dealing it out with his character, Mr. Farty Pants. Don't deny it, Richard, because we also know that whoever denied it, supplied it. Foozle CC created Void Knight, a menacing character with a giant axe and the ability to fly and slam the ground. Prince Galador made a game with ants that can become a human and also become ants again. Play as a friendly beekeeper collecting bees in Spoon Sweet's entry. 
Space Spy made a cute little character that shoots darts. Use the darts to aid your movement. 890 made a really cool swinging mechanic for a character with no legs. This one really feels satisfying to control. As Lasso the Cowboy Bull, you'll bull rush through levels filled with killer cacti and treacherous jumps as you make use of your lasso to pull off acrobatic stunts beyond the ability of any other bovine. The submission period for round one is now over. For the next week, you'll be rating each other's entries and the top 80 devs will progress to the next round where a second task awaits to test your game dev skills. Voting ends on the 21st of January and a video will be posted on the 23rd revealing the results from round one, the task for round two and who received the all important wildcard. Until then, just relax, rate some entries and maybe I'll see you in round two of GDKO 2022.